Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's not your first time here, if it's the first time that you're joining me, my name is Linda Tina. I live in Italy, Milan. I'm from Uganda. And subscribe, do subscribe. There's a cocktail of topics and things you can find on my channel. I'm sure something may interest you. So um, in this video, um, I, I feel like I'm gonna have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you um, about life, about life. But particularly, I'm going to be talking about how I feel I've changed and evolved since I turned 30. I remember, say, in my 20s, when we would have conversations with my friends and we mention things like this person has changed or they tell you you have changed, it usually had like a negative um, connotation around it. Like you've changed, you would deny it and say, no, I hadn't changed, I'm still me. No, 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 no. Like it's a bad thing. But now that I've grown a little older, I feel like I own it. Yes. I have changed. It's not a bad thing. Actually, for me, I don't even look at it as really changing. I look at it as evolving. Now, I started to feel this shift in me spiritually, emotionally, when I turned 30. Now, I'm not saying that on my 30th birthday, I got this light bulb. Boom! You have changed! Blah! No, it didn't happen like that. It wasn't an overnight thing. I am now 33, so it's been three years since I turned 30. And it's something gradual that I've been recognizing slowly. And it becomes stronger and more significant in the way I carry myself, in the conversations I have. And this is something that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Emotionally. I feel like I am more in touch with my feelings, like I'm in touch with my feelings on a way more deeper level. And I mean all feelings, the good feelings, the bad feelings. I've always been a sensitive person, but right now I feel things stronger and I appreciate these feelings. Like if I have a feeling of sadness, I will, I will accept that, okay, in this moment I'm sad, I'm emotionally withdrawn and I will own it. If I have feelings of fear, I will accept these feelings, I will own them. I am more empathetic to people. I try to understand their situations and why they do the things they do without getting offended immediately. So I try to also understand other people's emotions and that's emotional growth, emotional intelligence. Also, I accept myself to feel things more than before when I was younger. Now I let myself go and accept those feelings, you know. Um, they can even be feelings of disappointment, even feelings of happiness. I've just emotionally let go of myself a little more. But not only, I've also learned to recognize these feelings, express these feelings. Like if, for example, this might be a silly example, but if, for example, I love my friends, I'm going to let them know how much I love them, my family. I am out, I'm putting my feelings out more than before when I was younger. Next is, I am more accepting of where I am in life. I know where I want to be or where I hoped I could be at this time but I am now accepting okay this is my life and if I am not where I hoped I could be that's fine but I know where I want to be um, in the next coming year or months or you know so I am accepting I am accepting where I am in life in my 20s I feel like um, you, I would be like, no, but you know, at this time I could have been doing this, but you know, at this time I could have been doing that. I still get those feelings, don't get me wrong, but I am more accepting of where I am in life. And then I start to realize also <laughs> the value of time. I'm like, okay, um, you're getting older, you're not getting any younger, so um, this is real life. In the sense that now I am aware that um, time won't always be there. So if you want to achieve some goals, you need to make a plan for them. But also if there are some things that you've not been able to do at this time, accept that and move on. So I am more aware of <laughs> how much time I have. I know it sounds stupid to say at my age because um, I'm not that old, but I am more accepting and aware of time and where I'm in life. You know something else that has changed in me? 
I am more able to let go now than before. And this is very interesting because as a person, I cling to things, I cling to people, I cling to situations, to memories, you know, I'm not that kind of person that lets go of things. I remember when I moved to Europe, I tried to keep in touch with all my friends, like even my childhood high school friends, until I came to the realization that um, every time of your life, every season, there are people who are going to come along with you and then there are people who you're going to have to let go, not because you don't love them, but because maybe they don't fit in your life anymore or maybe because their season is over and then you don't, you can't click on, you can't cling to memories and the ones was, you know, so um, as I've grown older and as I turn 30, I learned to to let go, to let go. Okay, this was nice when it happened, but it's not there anymore. So let's move on and let it stay behind as a memory. I'm still trying to learn. Oh, that was my cooker. <laughs> I'm cooking some lunch. Um, I'm still trying to learn this. It's a work in progress, but I'm doing much better now than before. The other one is that awakening that I should take care of myself a little better, what I put in my body, um, you know, my skin. I'm working out a bit more. I'm trying to move my body because I'm getting this epiphany, which I should have gotten honestly earlier, that mm, what you do now determines how you're going to live in your old age and I want to live well so now I have that awakening to take care of my body a little better this one is something that I actually talked about with my best friend recently I now have more understanding of life being a journey and not a jump from one point to another I'll explain in my 20s I was maybe less realistic I felt like everything is possible and everything is possible if you put in the work but i think i left i lived in this dream of you can just flip from this to that you know just work hard and you know just sway through the process now i realize that life is a journey a process and you have to live through that process to get to that end point. For some people it's faster, for some people it's slower. There are moments where you're gonna be a little slow, there are moments where you're gonna be a little fast, but you can't just jump. It's like I came out of a bubble, like I was in a bubble and now I am more realistic about life. It comes with maturity, I believe. And it's been a very important lesson for me to learn that life is a journey and we have to go through these little pieces of the journey to get to the end of the track. The other one is that I feel like I care less what people think. Um, I do care about the environment I live in and my reputation. I'm not that kind of person who says, don't give a crap, don't care about anybody, just live your life. No, man is not an island. My mother always said that to us. You can't live on your own. You can't live thinking only about yourself. You have to think about how you live in the community. But, um, I am less bothered about impressing other people. I really don't care. If you like me, if you don't like me, that's really your business. If you like my lifestyle or if you don't like it, I don't care. I don't try to portray something that I'm not just so that people can like me more. I really don't care. And let me tell you, there's a freedom that comes with not caring about what people think of you. I think it comes with um, security, like you feel secure in who you are. And so you don't care. You, 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 you let people decide if they like it or if they don't. Obviously, it's a work in progress. I'm not yet, you know, there, but I've made a very, very, very big change from when I was younger when it comes to this. Lastly, if you've made it to this point of the video, <laughs> I can't handle a hangover anymore. I just can't. When I was younger, and I don't mean very long time ago, I mean just a few couple of years ago, I could party really hard. Those who know me, they know I love a good party. I love to go out. I could do an all-nighter on Friday, Saturday, 
Sunday and even have brunch on Monday with no problem at all. Guys, right now, <laughs> I remember on my 30th birthday, we partied hard. I was away with my friends. I have a video from my 30th birthday in Amsterdam. You can go and check that out. We had a good time and, you know, we kept it going for three days. Then recently, last year, we were in Lisbon for a girl's trip. Guys, I went out one night, did an all-nighter, okay? The next day, I was dying. I was dying. I felt old. I was like, no, and I didn't want to accept it. But I think now my body feels like, girl, take it slow. Has this happened to you guys? Because I know people who are way into their 40s and they still do a back-to-back -back all night. I don't know how they do, do it. The next day I need my rest and then maybe I could take another another night out, another qu more quiet night out, not the back-to-back -back nights out. My brothers know when we go back home for our reunions, we like go all out. We can party all week for two weeks straight. But my body can't do that stuff anymore <laughs> so anyway guys um we've come to the end of this video if you have stayed um till the end thank you for watching and tell me how do you feel you have changed and at what age yeah at what age these shifts that i'm talking about spiritually emotionally when did you start feeling like oh god i'm changing for me i feel like I'm evolving and it's funny because at the beginning of this year I told my best friend I feel like something in me is changing and then my sister who I talked to a lot told me you sound different the conversations you're having it's not something that flipped overnight guys but it's something that was gradual my conversations my expressions my feelings and to be honest I love it I love it so next time when someone tells me, oh, Linda, you've changed, I'd be like, yeah, yes, I have. And when someone tells you you've changed, own it. It's good. It's good for you to evolve, not to stay in the same place. So guys, see you in my next video and bye-bye.